Thank you for joining us here at HockeyUs.com. Don't forget to go to our website, HockeyUs.com today. Become a member. It takes three simple steps. Help us rate the product that you're seeing reviewed here and also the other products that we have listed on our website. And also, as a member, you could uh, ask us what you want to see reviewed, what type of product uh, in the hockey world that you'd like to see uh, reviewed here at HockeyUs.com. Uh, this skate here was asked, even though we know this is, uh, is a skate from last year, uh, we've had more than uh, more than a few requests for us to review the skate. I'm sure you'll still find a few of these out at your local supplier. And uh, this is close to like the 175 skate that uh, that Bauer has out this year. And more or less, what they did was when a 195 came out, they put the fiber skin over top of this and uh, kept a lot of this material and uh, turned it into the 175 skate. First thing I'm going to show you is the uh, is is the inside here. <clears throat> I'm going to pull this footbed out for a reason. Um, you're going to notice that the liner that you have in here is the hydrophobic liner um, that Bauer has incorporated in all their higher end skates. Uh, they also have a unique lace bite, um, lace bite bar that's on the front here uh, to help prevent with lace bite. Now again at HockeyUs.com we're going to give you our honest opinion and uh, through a lot of uh, people that we've uh, met that have had this skate and just off of reviews that we've had that people have wrote into us, uh, we know that this uh, this this tongue did not work really well. As a matter of fact, people complained right off the bat that uh, that they felt like they were getting lace bite because there was so much material on the outside. You can see how thick that is with this um, with this lace bite bar that they incorporated in here. It kind of um, almost um, uh, you know created some of the problem that they had for the skate here. Uh, one thing that they had, I'm going to show this footbed uh, to you here, is the composite power channel um, that they have here. And there's actually a couple different pieces. There's one here that they put in through the arch, and you can see it's kind of a, a shiny material. It's just a thin strip that they put here. On the back side, they put it up around where your, uh, your forefoot is and also your heel. And that was supposed to give you a little bit more power as you pushed and everything. You didn't go through the material. You didn't condense it down uh, as you stride. So this way, um, it would kind of put that power from the graphite pieces and in going into the skate and, and put that power down and through uh, the product in through the blade to give you a little bit more energy transfer that went in through the uh, boot itself. Uh, the, uh, let me just put this back in here. The outside package is a metal mesh that they used on the outside here. And the only problem with this is uh, with a lot of people, it discolored um, along with their um, the sweat. Sometimes this turned brown and uh, was a little awkward and material wise. Uh, the, the package that they wrapped up through here was almost like a rubber piece and they did have problems with that getting cut and also um, also coming apart away from, from the skate itself. Um, this skate though, a lot of people had 50% of the people that wrote in that wore the skate said they really liked it and the other 50% said they had nothing but problems with it. So I guess it was just luck of the draw whether you liked this or not. The biggest problem with this skate that they had was the light speed 2 power. Let me show this to you here. This is the light speed 2 power with the transparent to clear LS2 power holder. Okay, this has now since been discontinued because of the ongoing problems that they had. The clear holder was a little um, uh, fragile, brittle is what you want to call it, and had problems with that breaking. But the number one problem with this skate was in this area here, and I'll bring it closer to where the lollipop bolt was, as you can see where my finger is here. Uh, usually within here, in this area here, it would break. I couldn't say specifically that it would always break in this spot, but somewhere between here and here, the blade would always snap. We did have a couple. Um, a couple of people tell us that it would break where that hook was, is on the inside here. Again, this is the hook system that Bauer had with the uh, LS2. Even the regular power, the Power 2.1, uh, and the regular LS2, there's a little hook that goes in through here, and this lollipop bolt kind of uh, anchors that whole piece in. It does have a carbon fiber outsole on the outside, and uh, again, this is the um, this is the Bauer Nike uh, 190 skate, and this is a size 10, just so you guys know. Uh, again, because even though uh, it, we're uh, showing you this is last year's skate, we're going to give you everything. This is a size 10 senior size at 877 grams. So this is a pretty light skate. So let me rate this here for you now, like we've uh, like we always done here at HockeyUs.com. As far as boot structure is going to go, I'm going to give this a 3. Uh, they did have a lot of problems with this boot, um, you know, not really lasting that long, uh, discoloring and also on the boot structure, we're going to give it a 3. Comfort, because again, 50% of the people did like the way this fit. Uh, and other 50 other percent of the people didn't like the way this fit. This was done off of a computer generated image of a foot, and uh, this actually did touch. This was the um, uh, I should say the early pioneer for the 195, which actually they've had a lot of success with. Um, again, so the uh, comfort I'm going to give it a three. Durability because of the, the problems that they had with the discoloring, uh, some of the problems that they had with this part here um, uh, becoming uh, you know coming off of the 
thing here and also the problem that they had especially with the light speed two power holder and steel braking all the time durability i'm going to give it a three performance i'm going to give it a four because it is very light skate um, and a lot of people that we had um, went into their local pro shops and had this power changed over to the regular light speed two and then had no problems with them so uh you know that's basically one easy solution if you still have the skate and are having problems with the holder still uh, I would advise you to get the Lightspeed 2 regular holder put on there and you won't have any more problems. As far as the runner holder goes, again, I'm going to give this one of the lowest ratings that I've ever given uh, any of the uh, holder and um, steel combos here. I'm going to give it a 2 because of the problem that they had. I think that this was a uh, was poorly tested by Bauer. Uh, they didn't go through this and hit this with a puck um, and test this like they should have. Uh, in the past, they did make in the early 70s, they made a clear holder that, um, that CCM had and they had nothing but problems. They were too brittle too. Uh, so again, off of that, I'm going to give it a two. Visual looks, I'll give it a four. Um, you know, it's a really cool looking skate, nice concept. When this thing first came out, uh, we did have a lot of people going and and uh, and purchasing these skates because it is a cool looking and different looking skate. Uh, so visual looks, we'll give it a four. And weight at 877 grams, it is a nice lightweight skate. Uh, we'll give that also a, a four on weight. So again, this is a skate from last year. This is the Bauer 190 skate. Uh, even though it is a last year's skate, one of our uh, one of our Hockey Us members asked us to view this, and this is exactly what we're going to do. So become a member today. Uh, go on our website. Let us know what you think of uh, the different products you've seen here and also the other products that you'd like to see reviewed here at HockeyUs.com. Thank you for stopping by.